Hello, my name is Armando Lopez from SD Repairs. And today we are going to talk about iPhone 8 Plus that has no image. The customer, she brought the phone because uh, it cracks. So she bought the screen on internet because she was trying to replace herself. After she did that, the phone has no image at all. Vamos a hablar de un iPhone 8 Plus que la clienta comp eh, compró el screen por el internet y después de que trató de hacer el cambio, ya no dio más imagen. So, repair, you have to remember something. Where are you, when you are repairing, there's a lot of percent that you have to make sense. Okay? Acuérdense cuando ustedes hacen reparaciones, hay un porcentaje alto que es de sentido común. Okay? Eh, there's a lot, a lot, a big percent. A lot of percent of, of the repairs, you're going to be able to find the problem just you, using your sense. Bastantes problemas, usted podrá encontrarlo simplemente usando la lógica. So, by now, if we don't have an image, and we, re we already know that the customer told us there was image before she tried to replace the screen. So, by then, what are you going to do? Okay, the first thing you're going to do is either you can try another screen, of course. You try another screen. That's your first step. And your second step, the step that I will always do it, is going to the FPC LCD connector. Okay, if it's the touch, you go to the touch uh, uh, FPC connector. Okay, in any other uh, uh, model. In this case, we are going to you going, we are going to de J5700. Okay, ¿Qué es lo que usted hace? Si usted tiene problemas en, el, en la imagen, obviamente pone otro screen, no funcionó. Segundo, ¿qué es lo que usted hace? Usted va, si tiene un conector de LCD, pues chequea el conector de LCD. Si tiene un conector de touch, chequea el conector de touch. En este caso, vamos a chequear el conector J5700. Ok. That's the first thing that I always do. If, if it's not charging, I try another charging port. If it doesn't work, I go straight to the charging port FPC connector and make the reading. I do the readings. Ejemplo, si no carga, le puedo probar otro cargador si quiero, otro puerto de carga. Y si eso no funciona, pues voy directamente al puerto de carga. So, that's why you have to associate the issue what uh, with the place that you're going to go first to do the diagnostic. Como exactamente, entonces usted lo que tiene que es asociar el problema para saber exactamente cuál va a ser su primer paso. So, this, I just want to, I just remove it from the, uh, from the frame and I find the problem, but I want to share this issue with you guys, this resolve with you. Lo quité del board, del frame, y encontré el problema, entonces quiero compartir la solución con ustedes. Ok. This is the FPC connector. Oh, let me change the cameras here. Dame las cámaras. Ok. This is the FPC connector. So, the CXW is telling me that on pin 45, this is 47, this is 45. Here, one second. Okay. Here, I supposed to have a value, and the line is open. It's totally open. Let's see if I can move. Let me try to move this here. You guys can see it. Let me try to move this here. Okay, right here. Perfect. Right there. All right. So, on this line, pin 20, uh, 45, I supposed to have a reading. The reading, if I go to the CXW, en ese pin 45 debería tener una lectura, and it's going to be around 469, y debería ser aproximadamente 469. But as you guys can see, it's OL. So that means this line is open. Pero como pueden ver, dice OL. Significa que esa línea está abierta. The other problem I found was on pin 39. El otro problema que encontré fue en el pin 39. Pin 39, 47, 45, 43, 41, 39, right here. Ok. 
Okay, 39, as you guys can see, it, is OL. Como pueden ver, el pin 39 dice OL, Open Line. Aquí, supuestamente, debería tener también cuatro, alrededor de 469. Here, I supposed to have around 469. So, let me try and figure so you guys can see that. Okay, this is pin 45. Pin 45 right here. That I supposed to have around 469 and pin 39, around 469. So, right now we have been we found the problem. Ya, por el momento encontramos el problema. If we check pin 45, it says PP display backlight 34 anode connector, and pin 39 we have PP display backlight 12 anode connector. So. If these lights are open, for that is going to be your problem because there's no way we're going to have an image having these lines open because we know are for the displays, okay? Backlight anode display, backlight anode display. So, como ya vemos, si leemos aquí, ve, PP display by BL34 anode connector, PP display by light 12 anode connector. Con estas líneas abiertas va a ser imposible. Sabemos que estas líneas son importantes, son las líneas ánodo y no tendremos imagen. So, ya sabemos cuál va a ser nuestro problema. Pin 45. Si chequeamos, si vamos, no lleva a esta resistencia. Ok, if we go, if we continue checking, we are going to see we have a resistance here, a resistor here. Ok, this is a resistor. So, let's go back, pin 45. So now let's go to pin 39. Ahora vamos para atrás y buscamos el pin 39. Okay, we have another resistor here. Tenemos otro, resist otro resistor aquí. Okay, so let's check those resistors. We have this resistor and this resistor. Vamos a chequear estos dos resistores, resistencias. Entonces, we transfer again. And we can clearly see right here, as you can see here, let's see if you guys can see the right there. Okay. This is one right here. You can see it's burned. It turns to another color. And we have another one in that corner. That's a little bit harder to be able to see it. Let's see if you can see it there. No, it's... Harder to see it right there, but it's, it's there. It's that corner. Yeah, you can see it's different. Como pueden ver, tenemos esta y la vemos quemada. Y en la esquinita tenemos otra que está quemada. Un poquito más complicada verla, pero está ahí. So, those resistors, esos resistor, esa resistencia, R5730, R5730, you see, PP display, backlight, analog line, they have zero value. And the other one is 5733, zero value. So they are like pretty much, it's just like a wire, like a filter. That's pretty much what it, have, what it does there. So if we don't have the con that connection, that's why the line is open. Esto es casi prácticamente, con ese valor, prácticamente son un jumper. Casi, eh, sería, vendría siendo casi como un filtro prácticamente. Son un jumper. Eh, si están dañados, obviamente, pues no tenemos conexión y por eso es que nos dice OL. So, esto van a ser nuestro problema. So, let's remove it. Let's go and remove it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't change this. I want to explain this right now. I, I didn't change it. So, this is what I was explaining. 5730 and 5733, as you can see here, they have zero value. ¿Ve? Esto fue lo que expliqué. No cambia la pantalla. Como pueden ver, tienen un valor cero. Ya... Lo expliqué, so vamos a solamente a seguir. I already explained that, so we're just going to continue. And we are going to replace, going to try to remove those, those components. Let's see if I can remove it. Sometimes the one in the corners gets complicated. We don't have a space there. 
de, de smog absorbent sentemos el absorbente de calor de humo so we're just going to remove the resistor vamos a remover los, esos dos resistores Ya removimos uno. Let's see if we can remove the other one. Okay, that's it. Remove the other one. Right here. Remember, if it was a capacitor, we would have we have a short. We're not going to have an open line. Si fuera un capacitor, tendríamos un corto, no una línea abierta. So, let me get, grab it from here. I know this one is going to be good. This is from an iPhone 6 donor board. Get a lot of, of my donor part from iPhone 6. Donor chips, donor components I get I grab I have a lot I get a lot from my iPhone 6 donor boards yo agarro bastantes componentes de los board donantes de iPhone 6 yeah remove one just put it around here I'm just going to leave it there yeah and let me remove the other one ya quité uno vamos a quitar el otro Let's remove the other one. Ah, one of the things that I didn't tell you, I just, I already test these resistors before with the multimeter and they have, they're fine. They have continuity. I know these are the values, the exactly values, which is zero, but they have the same size and everything. Okay, so now we just, going to put it back there okay ahora solo lo vamos a poner para atrás ya yo había chequeado esos resistores anteriormente y sé que esos son los que quedan ahí sin problema pone un poquito de flux aquí y un poquito de flux aquí uh, uh, mucho 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 too much flux too much flux okay I'm just gonna leave the resistor there we're going to put the other here put too much flux okay Okay, now we're just going to solder the back. Ahora solo lo vamos a soldar. Se me fue la mano con el flux. I put too much flux, but we're just going to wait until... Ah, that's it. That's it. Perfect. Solder, solder, yeah. Perfect, that's perfect. Ya está bien, se soldaron. Entonces. Ok. Se soldaron, vamos a probar. Now we're going to test the pins again. Entonces ahora probaremos los pines de nuevo. Let's try pin 45. Let's see here. Let me see if you guys can see it there. Right here. Right there. And we say we're supposed to have around four. Let me see. 
That number is fine, but I just want to see what was the number I told you that it's supposed to have. Ese nombre está correcto, pero solo quiero decirles cuál es. Ok, it says, the CSW says we're supposed to have around 469. And as you guys can see, we have the values back. ¿Ves? El ZXW decía que teníamos que tener aproximadamente 469. Y como vieron, tenemos el valor de nuevo. So, 47, 45, 43, 41, 39. Ya. Yeah. Como ven, as you guys can see, we have our values back. So, let's see if we have image let's see that was the only issue that we find on this phone remember after this make sure you clean when you finish make sure you, what happened here oh uh, this one moved okay make sure remember make sure you clean every time don't give the these boards like this to the customers no se los olvide cuando terminan Siempre limpie, limpiar los trabajos, no dejen estos board de esa manera. Ok, la calidad es importante para que la gente empiece, los clientes respeten nuestra profesión y vean que es una profesión seria. Ok. Just connecting the CD. This is the old screen. I don't know if it's working. Right there. So you guys can see we have image again. Como pueden ver, tenemos imagen de nuevo. Ahí. Ahí está. Ya podemos ver cuál es esta cámara. No es fácil. Este es este. Y este. Ah, este es este. Ok. Ya podemos ver. Tenemos imagen. As you guys can see, we have image there. Let's see here. I think she told us the home button was not working. Oh, it's there. Right there. So, the phone is turning on. Como pueden ver, ya el teléfono está encendiendo. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Learn. Um, don't forget, understand many repairs. A lot of percent of the repairs. I can easily say like 70% of our repairs are, you have to make sense. It's by sense. Okay? Yo podría decir realmente un 70% de nuestras reparaciones son usando nuestra lógica, ok? So, thank you for watching. If you like my video, give me a like. If not, give me a comment. Don't forget to share the video and we all learn from each other. Si le gustó el video, denme un like y si no, denme un comentario. No se olviden en compartirlo y recuerden que todos aprendemos de todo. Muchas gracias. Thank you.